Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Today, I'm going to be talking about weight. Weight of tennis rackets. Now, I got four pure arrows here. The pure arrow light, the pure arrow team, the regular pure arrow, and the pure arrow tour. So I got four bananas with me today. Okay? And I'm going to show you the differences in weight and balance of each of them and what they do when a racket gets lighter and a racket gets heavier okay but before we dive into that i want to talk about my merch a little bit i know a lot of you guys have uh, been asking if you can get them internationally that's coming very very soon okay very very soon so if you want to get this cool mass that jules made handmade here in america um, you will be able to get that soon in your country. Most comfortable mass in the world with these uh, with this adjustable little bead here to make it easily fit you. Even with my fat head, it'll fit you, okay? And if you want to support the channel by getting some tees or long sleeve tees, I got phone pop sockets and dampeners all right thank you in advance okay stay tuned quick shout out to isumi land uh thank you for the love thankful for you all right so let's dive in um i got my four bananas here in different weights you know i feel like i'm at the supermarket with four bananas and i'm about to weigh each one of them to see which one's the lightest or the heaviest so Somebody want a banana with me or split one? All right, so I got, I'm gonna start with the light. I'm gonna cut out these placards first. The light, this is the regular. Got the tour here. The team has been already cut. And part of the reason why I'm doing this video is um, people don't believe me. Uh, it seems like when I say, hey, as a racket gets heavier, they get head lighter. And when a racket is lighter, they get head heavier. So I'm going to prove that today um, because I think it's important. So because so many people come in kind of insisting on lighter rackets all the time but the, the the racket manufacturers actually alter the balance as the racket gets heavier so that you know you get to maximize what the racket has to offer so that's why i'm doing this today so i could prove to you that um, these guys are actually thinking um, of your well-being and of your arm um, essentially all right so let's start with the banana light Okay, the banana light. Balance of the banana light is three thirty. All right, and then we're going to go with the banana team T E A M. Twenty. Okay. Regular. Regular banana. Three twenty one. If 
finally the tour. The banana tour. And that's going to be three. Eleven. Okay, so let's go weight and swing weight these. At the scale with my bananas, let's see how much these bananas weigh. The light weighs 270. The swing weight two seventy one. The arrow team. Five swing weight two sixty eight regular banana. Two ninety nine Banana on Tour three sixteen Banana Tour Swing Weight. Ninety-seven. All right, so let's go analyze these bananas. All right, guys, so am I right? Well, let me show you. All right, so let's look at the light, okay? It's 270 grams, balance at 330. So that's the highest number, right? So that means it's the head heaviest, right? So H, H, head heaviest of all the balances, right? If you look at it this way, on the lightest racket overall, right? Now, as you look at the team, right? you see the balance actually shift a bit. It's not so head heavy, right? But there's more overall weight. As you get to the regular, the regular banana, which is the most popular, right? These two numbers are almost the same. So they wanted the balance to be almost there with, with a little more weight. So that was probably planned, that they found a great median balance and kind of kept it there even though there's more weight in the regular. Now, the interesting thing is, let's look at the tour, right? So this is the heaviest of all, the pure arrow tour. The weight is 316 grams, right? But look at the balance. It's the head lightest of them all. It's the head lightest of them all at 311, whereas the light is the head heaviest of them all. So this, right? has a trend you can go 270 to, so you can, you know that the rackets are supposed to be heavier as they get to the tour but the balance also right gets head heavier this way this goes that way as you can see with the trend now swing weight is a little bit different because 
we know that a light racket's probably gonna have a slightly lighter swing weight. The team is a little more balanced in the handle then, right? Because you got a lower number here. Now, as you get to the regular and the tour, they add more weight towards the center of the racket, therefore causing this number to go up a bit more. Plus, there's more mass, you know, right? the racket's way more, therefore the swing weight's gonna equal to more too. So, so was I right? Yes, right? So when people come in, you know, because I do sell a lot of these lights to 12-year-olds, to 14-year-olds, um, and some women who want a lighter racket. Uh, so when they go like this and say, wow, that's a heavy racket. Well, yeah, if you swing it like this, it's a heavy racket. But if you hold it like this, it actually doesn't feel so heavy. Whereas if, if you take my team version, the team, the team arrow, right, it's a little more evenly balanced right probably more suited for let's say the lady player or the 14 year old um or the you know the bigger child right um middle school freshman in high school um to ladies would probably benefit more from a team racket um and then i my guess is that babylon thought well it'll be easier tra to transition from the babylon team to the regular Babylot, right? To the regular Babylot by keeping it the same balance, but adding it, adding more weight, but equally distributing it through the racket, right? Whereas when they go to the tour version, which is the heaviest version, yeah. So whereas when they go to the pure arrow tour, they rebalance this racket and put it more towards this handle to make it head lighter, right? So if you think about it, the team and the regular are this, are similar in balances, but different in weight, obviously. So the light, right, would be, would balance kind of like this, whereas the uh, tour would balance kind of like this, right? Here, I'll show you this way. Right, look at that. And look at this. See the difference in balances? Even in my finger when people do this, like this handle wants to go down, whereas this light is pretty even. Okay. All right, so was I right? Yes, I was. But I wanted to make sure that you guys were aware that when you ask for a light racket, that it will be head heavier. Okay, and they do that to protect your arm because if they made a light racket and they made it headlight, uh, you would your arm would take a lot of punishment when that ball's coming hard at you, you would be hurting. Um, I actually owned a racket like that, uh, called a Gamma Razor, I think it was called a Razor Light or something like that. And I played out of my mind with it. Every ball I hit, I swing for the fence, it came through so quickly that everything dove in, right? But my arm felt like it was gonna fall off after every time um, I played. So I um, had to give it up. Uh, but that was, you know, that was then, and they don't make that racket anymore anyways. But wanted to just let you guys know that when you're choosing a racket, try to get something a little heavier maybe, or get the regular version of this banana arrow, or the regular version of a pure drive or a regular version of like a clash, right? Because that would probably suit most people because they rebalance the rackets, okay? So thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.